Well, here we are this morning for the Melbourne viewers and international viewers. It could be your night time, but we're in Melbourne, Little Italy, Ligon Street, Carlton, on the first day of the Melbourne Grand Prix. And it's very appropriate we're standing in front of Forza Italia's retail store, which is the largest uh, licensee of, merchant, of Ferrari merchandise as well as other Italian icons. And today we, we have the, uh, the owner and the, and the chap who runs it all, Joseph. Welcome Thank today. You. What's happened with Ferrari? You been down the track yet? Yeah, I was there yesterday. Um, look, it's exciting times for F1 in general. A lot of uh, rule changes. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, speculation of how that's going to affect the crowds and cars. But look, Ferrari was pretty pretty quick yesterday. And uh, look, they're always going to be up there. It's just a matter of uh, right. you know getting it right. I think everyone's on the same playing field this year, so. Look, uh, they stand a very strong chance, and you know they've got two world-class drivers in Kimi Raikkonen and Fernando Alonso. What's a Ferrari? So you had a successful uh, function over here a couple of weeks ago in the uh, promotion yep. of Ferrari in the yeah, Grand Prix. we did. We did a F1, uh, did the simulation in the Piazza with uh, an F1 uh, Ferrari car and some other Ferrari road cars. Um, and it's all about building the Ferrari branding in Ligon Street. Obviously, Ligon Street is known for its, uh, you know, Italian atmosphere and its little Italy, as you mentioned. Uh, it's just bringing that back there. And that's why we're here. And that's why we bring all the brands. Um, you know, not only Ferrari, you know, Fiat, Alfa. That they're the brands that we want to be, you know, encouraging. Um, and Ducati. Yeah, definitely Ducati. Uh, the the motorbike speed. riders are always here on a Friday and Thursday night. So definitely. there'll be a big celebration uh, either way in Ligon Street after the event tomorrow, I think? Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, look, Ligon Street's always crazy. Uh, yeah. It's always busy, especially after the races. Last night was very busy even after practice. But, you know, if Ferrari wins, we might see sometimes back so how, how's 10 the, years ago. So how's the new Ferrari merchandise selling? Very good. Uh, the quality is exceptional. Puma's done a really good job with that. Pricing is great, um, and the brand awareness, Ferrari just actually got voted the uh, strongest brand in the world. They're right. Uh, ahead of Google, Microsoft, Apple. And, so there's exciting And quite a flying kangaroo. That's right. <laughs> Tell me, what's some of the most popular new lines and colours under the Ferrari yeah, look, brand? Uh, in a lifestyle range, which is more everyday, where we do a lot of blacks. Uh, black seems to be the prominent colour. There is some reds, but it, that's overshadowed by black. And in the lifestyle range, in the team range, it's all about the red. So, that, yeah, exactly. It's all about your sponsors, the Satan Day, right. your Pumas, all of that. Um, but done in a very uh, nice way. This year has been probably one of our best selling years for the red Ferrari team wear, as the mechanics wear. Um, and, you know, definitely people are getting into the spirit, and it's people from all ages, from right. very young up until, right. you know, elderly as well. So it's, um, you know, yeah, it's very exciting cars for Ferrari and for well, you know, Italian products in Australia. Definitely. Well, folks, you know where to come now, whether it's tomorrow after the big result or during the year. But all right, this is the place. It's 24 7. So, so that's right. anyway. We wish Ferrari well in you, and thank you for the chance to uh, p promote Carlton and Forza Italia. Likewise. Thanks, Peter.